Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning um, on our prayer request today. And I do want to mention we went and had a second opinion uh, on the uh, about the struts on our car. Well, guess what? He said it doesn't need them. See, it's not making the noise right now since they, they rotated the tires and did an oil change. It hasn't made the noise since then. But they still would wanted to fix it at free service for, for 1300 plus tax or something like that. And, uh, you know, all I can say is always get a second opinion, especially for something that's expensive like that. And uh, he said if it starts making any noises again, to just bring it back in. But as far as he could tell, it, it did not need struts. So thanks for all the prayers, everybody. I uh, feel much better. I was having some anxiety over it, wondering where we would get the, the money from for something like that. And, um, you know, uh, I should have even trusted a little bit more, but, I, you know, I, I have these anxiety. Th I've had trouble for many, many years with anxiety. But um, I'm so glad that we had a second opinion done. Just want to mention that, and I appreciate all the prayers that we do. Okay, on today's prayer request, Peanut P would like us to pray for her mother, Mary Ann, who has stage 4 cancer. Uh, give us an update, uh, Peanut, on that if, uh, if your mom needs some more prayer. Um, and pray for Nancy and her son. Her husband passed away June 23rd. Pray for comfort and peace. And Nancy, let us know if, uh, if you need further prayer. Uh, and... Colleen's nephew, Alan, passed away July 29th. Please pray for the family for peace and comfort. And Colleen, let us know if you need uh, any further prayer uh, in that area. And also pray for Akala, Akala John's sister who has undergone a cesarean. And also pray for her next bed patient who's 80 years old with asthma. Also her son, uh, pray for Mutton Mamba. He has a temperature. So uh, give us an update, uh, Akala, Akakla John. Uh, please give us an update if you need further prayer for these um, ones that you gave us. And then Caroline has been working for the same mortgage company for 10 years. She got laid off and she's a single mother. Pray she finds a new job quickly. Uh, Jackie Howard's uncle Kenny has cancer. Pray they can help him. <coughs> Um, pray for Melissa's mom. She's back in the hospital with stomach problems. And Melissa, if you see this, uh, would you please uh, give us your mom's first name? Uh, that helps. And Amber passed away. Pray for the family for peace and comfort. Uh, Kim needs prayer that they approve her unemployment benefits. And Twyla needs prayer that she makes a sale. Okay, our scripture of the day comes from Galatians 3, 23 through 29. <coughs> Before the coming of, his, of this faith, we were held in custody under, under the law, locked up until the faith that was to come would be revealed. So the law was our guardian until Christ came that we might be justified by faith. Now that this faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you all are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Amen. Gonna drink the water. <coughs> okay. Okay, our devotion today is entitled Different Together in Jesus. Business analyst Francis Evans once studied 125 insurance salesmen to find out what made them successful. Surprisingly, competence wasn't the key factor. Instead, Evans found customers were more likely to buy from salesmen 
with the same politics, education, and even height as them. Scholars call this homophily, the tendency to prefer people like us. Homophily is at work in other areas of life, too, with us tending to marry and befriend, befriend people similar to us. While natural homophily can be destructive when left unchecked, when we only prefer our kind of people, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to tickle in my throat. Society can fracture along racial, political, and economic lines. In, this fir in the first century, Jews stuck with Jews, Greeks with Greeks, and rich and poor never mingled. And yet, in Romans 16, 1 through 16, Paul could describe the church in Rome as including Priscilla and Aquilia, Jewish, Eponis, Greek, Phoebe, a benefactor of many, so probably wealthy, and Philogus, a name common for slaves. What had brought such different people together? Jesus, in whom there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free. It's natural to want to live, work, and go to church with people like us. Jesus pushes us beyond that. In a world fracturing along various lines, he's making us a people who are different together united in him as one family how can you actively reach out to people who are different from you what could you do this week to bridge ethnic or economic divides jesus i praise you for working to bring our fractured world together and lord i want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list please help all of them with their different needs in lord's name i pray amen I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye everyone and God bless.